Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And yes, I know I have a big stain on my sweater. I don't know what it is, I think it's oil. I tend to ruin all of my clothes, I don't care. Anyway, I am going to be home for the next week or so and I'm going to try to put out a video every single day to show you what I'm doing on the airplane fleet I have going on here. I'm working on the Super Duty, I'm doing the condition inspection on the pits and we did find some things wrong with that which I'll explain later, but today, I'm getting ready to make this fairing here around the bottom of the windshield on the Super Duty. Now in order to make this fairing, the first thing I'm doing is taping off the entire bottom of the windshield. And I'm using duct tape again because the resin will not stick to the duct tape. And obviously I don't want the resin sticking to the aluminum or the windshield. So I'm just cutting strips like this and going all the way around the entire bottom of the windshield. And I'm also trying to get the duct tape as close as I can along or around the rivets, just so there's not a big kind of a hole or gap there. I try to make a little slice if I need to and then really press that duct tape around the rivet. That will just make the fiberglass lay a lot better. Here it is after using about a half a roll of duct tape but the entire bottom is done and taped off and ready to go. Now I'm cutting the fiberglass that I'm going to use for this fairing. And you'll notice I'm cutting the glass at an angle. And this is something that my buddy Len taught me. And he calls it cutting it on a bias. And the reason I'm doing this is because when it's cut on an angle like this, the fiberglass, you, you can work with it more. It can kind of go around a curve. Uh, if you cut it straight, then you won't be able to curve it around curves. <laughs> so, and I think you'll see what I mean when I, when I actually put the fiberglass on the airplane. But anyway, that's what I'm doing now is cutting strips of fiberglass. Once I have this big long strip cut, I'm just cutting it now into I don't know, eight or 10 inch long pieces. These will be the pieces that go along the, the kind of the really where it curves around the bottom front corner, kind of this area right here. And then I'll, you'll see at the end here, I'll have a couple long pieces that'll go around the kind of the top of the glare shield. have the fiberglass pieces cut. My buddy Len is going to come over on Wednesday and help me lay up this fairing so I make it perfect. I think I have all the pieces cut that I need. These little triangle pieces are just a, the end that I cut off, but I save them just in case I need a little uh, reinforcement somewhere we can use those. And uh, what I've done is I've made some smaller ones here that will be easy to put on here and kind of start this curve. And then you can see I also have two long pieces. They might be too long, but we'll see. Because this is relatively flat here, or straight. So I could probably put one piece from about here all the way over to somewhere around there. And of course I have two of them because it will be two layers thick. And uh, so that's ready to go. The fiberglass is ready to go. Now we just need resin from Len. Now I wanted to mention one of the things I did before I taped this off is I wanted the windshield to sit up tight, obviously, against the fuselage. And if you're familiar with these windshields as you're installing them, they, they tend to come out around the side here and you kind of have to press them in. And that is one of the reasons why I didn't want to use just a rubber boot around the bottom that, that Zenith provides in a kit. Because if you do that, you either have to, to glue that boot to the fuselage or figure out some other way to keep this, the windshield actually tight against the the fuselage. I like the fairing because the fairing, once it's screwed on, it really holds it on nice. But what I did on here is before I taped it up, I drilled a hole right here, as you can see that little bump. And I drilled a hole through the, the windshield and the airframe. And then I countersunk the windshield just a little bit. And I put a screw through there. And now that screw is holding the side of this windshield up tight against the fuselage. Well, that's all I'm doing on the Super Duty today because it's a perfect day for flying. It's supposed to be the only good flying day this week. So let's take the Blue Angels cruiser up and go look at the fall colors.
Wow, the colors look amazing. I really hope it comes out well in the camera. I have the wing strut camera facing a little bit further down, so hopefully I can capture the trees. Wow, this is just a perfect time of year to be sightseeing for colors. Air traffic at 545, 8 miles to the Of course, it never seems to be as impressive on video as it is in real life, but. 36 pop is a Comanche and left traffic for runway 36 at Lapeer. We're currently on a left downwind. Traffic inbound Lapeer, Lapeer stay position. I'm uh, seven and a half miles to the southwest and on uh, that eastbound heading. And, uh, Three six pop left base three six look here. Sun here traffic says it's going down about the Chicago currently three thousand five hundred feet about five miles to the east of the airport. We're just gonna be There's only one boat on the lake down there. I'm surprised. It's such a nice day. I figured there'd be lots of people out today. It's a Sunday. Uh, well, everything just looks like a rust color. It's really nice. A lot of orange. I love just coming out and flying around the lakes because there's so many just really nice houses along the lake. Just fun to look at. Up here traffic, yeah, 65458, two and a half It looks so much nicer when the sun is shining on the, the trees and the ground, but it's kind of an overcast day today. There's a little bit of sun peeking through. It's really bumpy too. Price traffic, somebody down to left base, 27 price. Livingston County traffic, Skyhawk 2322 Yankee is turning left cross when uh, departing to the south of Livingston. Sky traffic, Beechcraft 601, Niner Niner, turning final, 3-1, Livingston County.
Well, everybody, thanks for sticking around and going flying with me. Check back tomorrow as I think I will have another video out tomorrow.